Welcome back to another episode. If we are going to explore the Bargagor area again, because orcs. That's why. The first time around, we got the first set of orcs, and now there is the second set of orcs. So you always um, get orcs yes, every time orcs. you go to the Bargagor environment. And now I'm gonna just uh, explore the northern part of this. So let's see where we end up at. I need mana. Just set the bloody totem, would you? I mean... Yeah, okay. Fire and death is basically what we need against this one here. Nice. And the thing is gone. What do we get for it? Uh, some tooth. Nice. A bone gnaw horn. Two of them. Maybe they can be useful for crafting something in the future. Either this, or they're just there to sell. Be sold. Ah, yeah. there we go, another godstone. Sometimes they're extremely close together, and sometimes they're like kilometers apart. Shippity, shippity, come on, and three, two, one, bam! What was that? There was like a uh, fiery eruption happening. I don't know where it came from. Like, see that? It comes from the right side. I don't know. Someone is throwing with meteors. So, another bow yes. that we don't really need. Very interesting. Ah! What is this? Uh, some money. Is it still flying? It takes very, very long until you can actually... There's more money. Maybe it was from the previous time and we just left the environment. And there was still some loot to be picked up because there's no body connected with it. As you want. Alright. Another Let's one dead. We can do an awful lot, because we're strong. Uh, that's another one of those cans. Yeah, another orcish whatnot. A can. This one even emits a faint magical aura. It was probably blessed by a shaman king. Yeah, I went through here. A fine plan. Good move. There's some fine. magic up here as well. Oh, look at that. Why don't we just dig this thing out? Eh, maybe I should have brought Iskrim with me instead. Also, I'm going like back and forth and I really have to go through this camp down here. A fine plan. Yeah, of course it's a fine plan. It's my plan. <laughs> As you want. So, what do we got up here? Nothing, 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 nothing. Do, 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 do. Ooh, enemies. Fire goes. So, let's uh, get some of these, uh, some of this, some of this, and some of that. Nice. It's gonna get toppled any moment now. Any second now. There we go. And there's some golem pieces again. It's always the same. Um, golems drop, yes, golem stuff, and demons drop, demon stuff. Hmm. And in the end, your inventory fills with a lot of that resources. Alrighty. So, let's see if I uh, trigger this retaliation thing. Uh, does it only work on heroes or does it also work on these guys here? Yes. Nah. Yes. Yeah, maybe I can get retaliation on the zombies too. Yeah, that works. Sadly, it's only useful if... 
yeah, the, uh, the golem attacks them directly, so... Kind of the wrong move if I put it on the wrong characters. Come on. There we go. More golem stuff. Perfect. Damn it, what was that? Uh, there were two buildings somewhere. Ah, uh, there's one tower over here and then another one further north, I think. Uh, let's see. How much do we heal from that spell? Ah, uh, it's decent. It heals extremely strong. It's amazing. <laughs> Alright, so let's go through that camp in the center. Ah, yeah, this was the starting camp, I believe. Uh, I started from somewhere over here, I think. That way. All right. That way. Fine. All right. All right. All right. Fine. 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 Fine and dandy. So, ah, look at that. This time it's locked, oh, sure. so. This must be where the uh, enemy is hiding. Or not. Maybe you just can't go through there. Maybe you have to get the other set first. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it was locked from before. It's meant this way. Now would you look at that? So what do we have here? A vortex orb. Ah, uh, uh huh. It's a consumable, so once you use it, it's gone. I don't like consumables. No mm -hmm. game ever. Like, this is also why I don't seem to use any health potions. Even if I have, like, hundreds of them. Well, hundreds. 120, it's not hundreds. Hundreds would be, like, more than 200. So 300-ish upwards. That's hundreds. Mm. What was it I wanted to do? Yeah, I wanted to read. Blast javelins on our unlock as a research schematic. Sweet, sweet. So, there's some fire Let's that see. we can do here. What is this? Uh, an incredibly strong, sickening odor surrounding the altar. There's a black dust scattered all over the stone. It's kind of strange that there are no orcs around here at all. Sure. Either someone killed all of them or something else happened to them. Like it's just. Kind of questionable well the orcs are and also what uh, happened to the orc army from before so what is this one doing uh, the orc snores heavily the entire lower half of his face and his breastplate are covered in vomit uh, okay yeah strong liquor judging by the smell deduction even orcs when uh, want to get hammered sometimes Hmm. All right, all right, all right. So we have to go to the base where this was it Krell? Got it. Damn it! Names they go into one ear and out the other, and nothing sticks. The things that I usually remember are functions. Got it. Meaning the stuff that that happens, not where it happens, As you want. but what. This is the um, thing. Yes, the what and the why is mm. uh, what I seem to remember the most. Understood. Not the who and the where. <laughs> uh, Got it. You could basically fill in the blanks all the time. Anyway, so. A fine plan. Hey, nice girl on this time. Probably immune, yeah, immune to frost, so no reason to use that. But this one does uh, fire and ice damage, I believe. What is it? So, what do we have here? Uh, yeah, why don't you just go for this uh, might thingy? And then I can give him, uh, yeah, if he gets enough focus to cast this one. Just once more, come on. How long? 
He still seems to have the fine ice might, so let's use this one. And it hmm. does not seem to affect it that much. So fine ice might uh, only seem to work with the respective spells on the elementalist tray. And not, is it called elementalist? Uh, elementalism tray. And not seem to have any correlation to other elemental skills from other trees. That's a bit iffy. Because you can't get a like a uh, cross Will do. interaction here. Sure. You can only get interactions from the tree itself. So it's singular. But you can't get any more of it. That would be great though. The only thing that really interact well it's not really an interaction if it's a passive, but yeah, uh, the only thing that can be taken from one tree uh, and used Fine. on or mm -hmm. with another in conjunction is passives, and uh, perks are the passives. And what else do we have? Yeah, that, that's basically um, it. Yes, of course. That way. And sometimes right. auras that can be triggered. A fine plan. But then that's pretty sure. much it. So, what do we have here? Uh, doesn't seem to be anything glowing or whatever. Sure. Good, 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 good. As good. you want. A fine plan. Mm. Of course it's a fine plan, but I'm looking for some godstone to trigger. It's probably further west, isn't it? Zarek guides me. Hey, there we go. More anamis. Anamis. All right, so you get this retaliation thingy. Sweetie, sweetie, potato. Boom. Nice. Oh, oh. Ah, it all seems to be okay. Ah, there's our godstar. Yes. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. So, what do we got here? Uh, ooh, Orcish Research stuff again. So, it seems as if the second time around, uh, you can actually find more Orc upgrades. Sweet. So, Schematic uh, Battle Frenzy. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Because they are standard RTS units. Um. Yes, of course. Well, yeah, there, uh, there are like hero units and then there are RTS units. And RTS units are easier to kill than the hero units. And monsters. Ooh, will do. Sometimes monsters are easy, but uh, only some, uh, only the lower level ones. Uh, as soon as they get medium-ish. would you look at that? Then a bear trap, probably set up by an orcish hunter. Anyway, uh, as soon as they is, I understand. they grow into medium height, let's call it that, and uh, blood, lots of it. Oh, wait a minute. So there's blood da, 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 uh, and in here. So, and another camp that ah, look at that. Sure. Wait a minute, what's happening? I enter the thingy and I take damage immediately. So. Someone is attacking me, and they don't know where or what or what not. Hey, look at that. There, there, there's a dude in here. So how do we get there? Really difficult to see, right? You don't really see the glow uh, if you don't have direct vision over it. There we go. Now you see it, and it's... Uh, look at this. You can't really see it here. Uh, executioner's Blade, the tip of the blade. The Executioner's Blade has uh, spilled more noble blood than any other weapon in Northanda. As a sign of unity, Her Majesty the Queen retired the uh, horrific weapon and ordered it to be disassembled when she took the throne. The blade itself does not discriminate. If it's ever reforged, this greatsword will unleash its fury on all enemies of the wielder, regardless of status. So... Uh, yeah, I uh, I got this thing, uh, but for some reason nothing happens. Uh, Executioner's blade, I believe. Yeah, two out of three. Uh, 
something is wrong. Usually, um, you get some display for that. It might be a quest-related item. There we go. Uh, executioner's blade, axe. Uh, there we go. Tip of the blade, body of the blade. So, you have the tip and you have the body, and then you need the handle of it, right? Hmm. That must be the uh, the other one. I just can't sort it. Ugh. Come on. Anyway, uh, the best way to know how many parts you have is by just looking at the other location tab in the quest log. And that's what tells you what's, uh, what's going on. Because sometimes you don't seem to get the information. Or maybe it's just too much information uh, at once. Wild Fury. Perfect. Also something that I haven't unlocked yet. There we go. Uh, do we have something up here? That seems weird. Like, there could be a dead dude up there, or at least something that can be interacted with. Uh, there could be, but there is not. Alright. So, let's get back down. Also, uh, this was a very, very, very good ring. Uh, we don't need it on him. I... Uh, might just use this ring on one of these guys. Like, it's... Uh, Maybe underguard. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, this ring has what? White and black magic defense. So. This one is white. Yeah, exactly. So let's take this one and place it over here. Now he has uh, decent ish resistances all over the place. Uh, Rowan is already pretty resistant. Uh, I'm, I'm not so much, but yeah. You don't. Well, hmm. As long as I keep the resistances somehow spread out, then everything seems to be okay. I just don't want to die immediately, that's the thing. Um, as long as that does not happen, I can uh, like sustain one or two hits of an enemy, it's fine. Then I can just uh, retreat, uh, re-equip the characters uh, and... Yes, of course. Redo the little combat that happened. So let's go further west. Hmm. So what do we got up here? Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Ah, yeah, this one again with the pumpkins. A stash left unguarded. What do they say about a gifted horse? Well, I think the last time there was a chest in here glowing. I don't know why it's not here anymore. And why you're not given anything uh, in exchange. So, let's do that one. So, come on, you're gonna get killed. Boom, bada bam, bada bam. Okay. And there goes our drama. Oh, yeah, 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 there are a lot. Who is this? Another orcish shaman? Yes. That stuff, perfect. Immediately killed. Boom. Perfect. Okay, so shamans take... Uh, ah, so that's what happened. I got attacked by shamans. Interesting. This is where the fireball comes from. Like, they always shoot it and then, boom, it kind of hits from the direction they use it. There we go. Okay, how many more? Okay, there are a few more. 
Okay, that should definitely be it right now, right? Yeah. Hopefully. A fine I just want to connect that path here, so... The whole map unravels one bit at a time. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Alrighty, so, uh, do we have some, uh, godstones up here? Actually. Uh, that's one of these cams? Wait a minute. Did I check on here and not... Wait a minute, there was a barrel here that I could take items from, but the rest... Doesn't seem to matter that much. There we go. Huh? Another one of those fangs. Mm, da, 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 da. Another obelisk. Blood mm -hmm. on it as well. That's just weird. This goes straight down here. Feels as if you can get an item at the end of it. So, that's a large bit, whatever that is. Uh, every last bit of flesh has been eaten off the animal's bones. Probably the work of wargs. You, you. Nice, okay, so you work that. Whoa, what's happening? Some strange glitch. Good move. As if some aura is going back. Hmm. Or some um, hero yes, has to respawn. But there are no heroes active at the moment, so... Something is weird. Got it. Ah! The zombies! They do their job just quite nice. Look at that. Oh, amazing. Bah! They will fall. Nice. I'm just looking for some Understood. golden glowy particles coming out of them. So I can get some additional gold. No Alright. Because gold sure. is nice to have. Ah, look at that. Okay. So again, it's barred off. So this is where the... Damn it, don't attack me. Jesus. Okay, wait a minute. What happens? Like, I, I, I get the retaliate thingy. Uh, they attack me. Do they take damage? No. Okay. So, retaliation does not work with um, archery towers. So, let's just uh, shoot up real quick. Uh, what's the exact wording on it? Allies and target area temporarily deal damage back onto the attacker when hit. Ah. Interesting. So, allies deal damage backwards. Uh, it's not as if it's some, uh, some kind of mirror. Sure that uh, throws the damage back at the attacker. It's the ally itself that retaliates. Some uh, additional action that gets triggered instead. So this is where that is. Mm -hmm. So why do I get this notification now? A godstone has been conquered. What's the last one anyway? Uh, do they... Is the last one at the bottom or at the top? Now that I think about it, I don't know that. Could be anywhere, really. Um, yes, of course. I understand. Game's okay, it's at the top. But why does it show up if the schematic was already read? That's weird. Maybe it was because of an uh, enemy interaction that happened. So that one can be killed with uh, white magic. Okay. Yeah, wait a minute. White magic, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Damn it, go a little bit further away. You also get a little bit further away. There we go. So, these guys get the retaliation thingy. So, let's do that. Perfect. Yes. Do -do 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 -do. A little bit of frost would be great. 
Yes. Also, something that I can do sure, is yeah. just uh, attack them from both sides at once. So that... Whoa! That was weird. Like, he attacked this way, right? He attacked the zombies. But for some reason, the attack does not work in a cone. It works, like, uh, around the enemy itself, somehow. That's just so weird. Or maybe it was just some retargeting that happened, and that's why. Anyway, we got ourselves another dead devourer, so we should be good. Nice one. So, a little bit of uh, demonic essence, pretty neat. Oh, wait a minute. They usually uh, leave behind this uh, twitching pile of meat, and if I don't kill it in quick enough, then the whole thing comes back to the world of the living. Zarek guides um, me. Yes, of course. So, where do we go next? Got it. No, 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 no. Stay together. Also, I haven't switched between the aggressive and defensive mode. It's usually Fine. better to have them defensive because then you have better control over their movements. And then they don't just charge into the enemies, but, uh, yeah, the defensive mode might be better when it comes to the RTS element, the whole strategy thing, but for now, when it comes to just we'll do. killing monsters and whatever's roaming the world, aggressive mode might be easier, mm. who knows. Because you can't be trapped huh, Good move. behind enemy lines like that. At least when it comes to that, it won't be that dangerous. Ah, there we go. Spiders. Oh, wait a minute. Don't I have, like, this thing with... Nope. It's not yet leveled up. It has an AOE ability, but I need to level this one first. Also, how much experience do I get? 18,000 I need. 300 for... 300 for what? Okay, another... So you get 300 experience for Spider. And you get uh, 450 for one of those dark-ish whatever thing. Hey, Let's another see. dead dude. You really don't see them. Uh, oh, focus on HP. That's a nice one. Mm. Hmm. It gives you a decent amount no. of uh, All right. stats, though. It's neat. I can basically uh, give this to a character that already has a uh, health amulet. I don't know who. Um, ah, there we go. So I can give it to him. He has focus, so why not just give him some health instead? Uh, focus on HP. There we go. So Undergast has additional ice damage. Rowan also has additional white damage. And I have like a focus regeneration. So everything is fine. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I can also just give it to Yuria. Uh, Yuria has the other part of it, uh, the the health component. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, let's heal this one real quick. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's see. Maybe I can uh, get this one here. Some of that. Uh, oh shit. Yes. There we go, come on. You need to attack the ranged ones first, that is utmost importance. And why? Look at that. Why does Undergast do that? So, another morning star thing. Hmm. Come on, just a few more seconds and I'm back with the living. Nice. 
Zarek guides me. Alrighty. Please be good. Uh, ooh, the crossbow. The silencing crossbow. Huh. Chance to apply silence. When it became clear that the war with the Betrayer's Mages was unavoidable, General Sentenza Noria started making the arduous preparations necessary for the conflict. Having failed to apprehend the deceitful mage in time to prevent the war, Noria vowed to never make a similar mistake. He personally handpicked the most skilled blacksmith and so on and so forth. The, so every weapon uh, that Sentenza Noria does to fight mages is basically silencing in nature. The silencing crossbow is used by the senior battle mages of the wolf guard. It neutral the threat post to the wolf guard by the gifted hmm. and there we have another ring of the light bringer damn it I have three rings of those ah, so that means uh, I can give someone else one of those light bringer rings again so let's give one of them to go uh, so glistening ring goes back that one goes in and that is perfect again also try to get rid of the darkness stuff and give him some anti-fire instead. Nice. So now Gore gets even more resistant. Nice, 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 nice. Good Amazing. Move. You really have to explore the whole area. Multiple times, all the time. Just so you don't lose out on those OP rings. Mm -hmm. I understand. Hmm. I just don't know how you would uh, make this a bit easier. Well, okay. You could try to explore the uh, whole terrain with one character for every quadrant, like the northeast uh, for the first character, the southeast for the second character, uh, southwest for the third one. And uh, north, yeah, southwest for the third one, uh, and northwest for the fourth character. So they can just uh, explore the whole stuff, and you can select them uh, and pick up all the items that you come across. That might be pretty damn Understood. quick. As long as you can manage the whole exploration, either they are strong enough or they have uh, some kind Got of it. army with sure. them that backs them up then Fuck. you can do this or you just do this uh, like one step at a time like I do at the moment and prepare for battle explore first and then do the whole thing second understood this way it's just easier for you in the long run okay uh, sure do we enter a specific cave or how does that work Okay. Do did you do? 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 We'll do. Got it. Sure. Alrighty. Almost there. Just a little bit more of exploration, and we should be good. Actually, you could hide a body down here. Ah, uh, thankfully they don't. I have to say, the whole glistening stuff has to be a bit stronger. So you can see it from afar. And it's not that the body itself gets kind of hidden in the terrain. Because I think that it gets really easy for you to discern all of that with ease. Really easy for you to... Okay, I think I said this twice. <laughs> um... If you lower the graphics. So, the lower the graphics, mm -hmm. the less grass there might be. Mm -hmm. And the less stuff gets in the way for your vision. And in the end, you can just uh, see things immediately. And everybody else who just, uh, well, pumps up the graphics like I am, uh, <laughs> is kind of screwed. Uh... But to be honest, this is actually a nice way of uh, playing games, right? Because uh, sometimes you have a certain advantage if you lower the graphics and cert uh, sometimes grass is not getting plan. drawn uh, on the screen anymore. 
then you can just see, let's say uh, on a shooter uh, or battle royale kind of stuff, uh, you just see the enemies really okay. far away. Right. They are not getting uh, any, uh, yeah, they're not getting hidden inside um, the grass yes, because the grass is not drawn because of low graphical fidelity. This is just something uh, that you have to keep in mind in order to keep it fair. Got it. And this is also kind of stupid because then uh, you just have people that, yeah, like to have uh, visual fidelity in their games that have to face other people that either have lowered the, uh, the settings intentionally in order to make it easier. That's also something. Like, there's no... It just makes it easier. And it's understandable that you can do this. But it means that uh, certain features just don't make sense for the game itself. Like, why have higher fidelity uh, imagery if uh, most of the players just don't care about it? Uh, or even lower it intentionally to get a certain advantage. Then you can just uh, get rid of it altogether uh, and get an equal I understand. feel for everybody. Or Fine. you can we'll do. put that feature in uh, as some kind of uh, option. Let's see. Yeah, just a, a certain kind of choice that you can have. And that's basically it. So some people choose fidelity and some people don't. And if you are in a competitive environment, then you are kind of forced to choose to want. lower the the setting just to not uh, yeah get handicapped by it anyway uh, this camp is right here and before we go in here we have a little cut <laughs> uh, because I don't know if this one triggers the interaction immediately or not I'm just uh, going in there and uh, getting the last remaining items that I can find and then I'm gonna talk to whatever is there Anyway, uh, until next time, <laughs> like and subscribe, of course. Ta -ta.